Hello and welcome to another macro video. My title today is Taming Word 365. Uh, perhaps a bit of an overstatement. Um, I was nervous about uh, upgrading to 365. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but uh, I kept thinking oh, it was easier on 2010. And I have learnt some of the features of 365 which are useful, but um, there are some things which I prefer to be in the old way, um, but we can tame 365. Um, but also, I think I want to get uh, Word 365, and it was the same in 2010 really, um, set up so that it works in the way that we as editors want it to work. So let's try. The first thing that I came upon uh, when I started was Control O to open a file and uh, what's this? Uh, you know, I didn't really sort of, I couldn't work out what was happening there. And so I, you know, how do you, how do you get um, uh, a proper, what I call a proper file of view? Um, well, actually, if you look at it, oops, wrong one, um, open, um, down here is browse. And if you click on browse, then that's the, um, the normal way or you know the old-fashioned way if you like what I would have got with control O uh, but I still like to uh, stick to that old way of doing it uh, and so what I want to do is to change it to uh, the old version and so I use my customized keyboard or you can just um, pull up the uh, customized keyboard window in your own way uh, so uh, open that up if we click in there, Control O, then we see that uh, Control O is set to this file open using backstage. And uh, what we want is the, uh, the old fashioned one, which was just called file open. So uh, to get the file open instead, if we click on, it's not a macro, which is uh, what that's set on. If we click on all commands, that means um, the uh, commands that Word itself has generated click in the commands, click F and it takes you to the beginning of those, file close, file find, file open, there we go, so click in there, we've got control O in the new shortcut key and so if we assign that then we can click control O now and we just get the normal file window. Um, if you want the old uh, way of, uh, oh sorry, the new way of pulling it up then you can set uh, a keystroke to that particular uh, open file blah 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 backstage thing. Um, next one is control F which gives us this um, uh, navigation window which I was certainly not used to and found the navigation pane was a bit of a pain. So to get back to the old version can we do that? Yes we can. Same sort of idea um, if you do control, uh, control, here we go, this is our um, customized keyboard window. Control F is set to nav pane search. And in fact, we can, uh, we can change it around, but Control H is set to the, what I would call the original um, find, the ordinary boring find. Um, replace window. So you can set um, using the customized keyboard window you can set which one you want so I what I actually do is I set I use my smart finder uh, smart finder I set that on control F and assign that uh, and then for the for the normal uh, um, edit find so all commands again in the commands list E for edit edit find there we go or oh, edit find um, no sorry I want the uh, nav pane search don't I so um, N for nav pane so nav pane search um, and that's my pain move, nav pain search. Well, actually, it's already set up, isn't it? To control alt F, uh, which is the you know the 
my chosen uh, keystroke if I do want to have um, the nav pane search. So Control Alt F, and it brings up the uh, the window there. Okay. Quick change artist there. I was getting a bit too hot. Uh, okay, so um, Control F then. I'd set on my Smart Finder and Alt Control F for the nav pane search. So Control F now gives me my uh, Smart Finder, so I can find all sorts of things, web web addresses, dates, a uh, lot more besides. They're just some of them that are shown on the window there for searching. Okay, now uh, the next one is F7 and it produces the uh, this new editor thing which I don't particularly like uh, but the bad news is that uh, you, c you can't, well I haven't found a way, you can't uh, just set F7 to the old-fashioned spell checker as it used to be. I haven't found a way to do that. Uh, however, uh, you can always do it on a macro uh, which is um, what I'm going to, I've, I've started to do. I've got um, part way with it uh, and it will in fact hopefully be quicker but what better still um, it will also have extra facilities uh, I want to improve it by making it uh, learn uh, work on more than one language so that it will work in one language as you set it and then if you know that you've got words in the document which are French German whatever you can set it so that having found a word which is supposedly an error in the base language, uh, English if that's it, uh, then it will also check it in one of these other, one or more of these other languages. So I'll um, release that as soon as I can. Um, now what other clever new features does Microsoft have? Um, well uh, some of them are uh, really, an really annoyed me at the beginning. Uh, trying to select something, just trying to collect, select part of, oh what's happened there, oh, 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 it, it's it's jumping, it's jumping to the ends of the words instead of allowing me to select the bit I want. And eventually, I discovered that was um, one of the, one of the options. Uh, it, it, they ha they call it smart selection. Um, but we can use options to tame the um, 365 to the way we as an editor want to work. Um, and actually, I've just in trying to do this video, I've just discovered a new feature. Um, if you select a word, if you hold the control key down and select another word or a, a bit of um, text or a whole line, then it adds to the collection. Uh, maybe you already knew that. Maybe that was there in 2010 and before, but I've only just discovered it. So, options. Um, what I've done to make life easier, I did this on 2010, but I've now done it on 365 as well, is to uh, actually, I mean you can get the, the options by file options and you get all these various windows uh, for the different um, aspects of, the, of the, the options and there's a lot of them and within each of these windows there are menus which with a, a load more um, options inside them. Uh, but how do you find a particular option? Where is it? Which of the different uh, categories does it come under? So what I've done is typed out all those those uh, menus on all those windows so that you can actually search electronically to find out, say for example, you want to find out um, where the smart quotes or smart editing is. Um, and what I've also done is to uh, mark on that uh, file which um, well, which options I think an editor might want uh, to be switched off. So they're in a, in a separate file. If we bring that in here, um, so uh, th this is a, the appendices from my book, which I've now pulled out into a separate uh, file because we're getting too big, and making making the main uh, word uh, the main. Um, book file too big computer tools for eds so this is a, an appendices file um, and so if we go down through um, the appendices uh, we, we've got codes for find and replace uh, wild non wildcard find and replace wildcard some useful wildcard expressions ascii codes unicodes sample style sheet sample credit list and here's our options that we want um, there's a, another one which is for um, the 
365 menus um, and then the next one is uh, the um, 2010 options I've left those in there but what I've done is I've, I've given them a grey highlight so if you're looking for something in one of the options and you end up with something which is in uh, grey then you know that you've gone too far uh, because you've uh, slipped to the word from the 365 menu items uh, not menu items, the options uh, through to the 2010. Okay so if you want to find a particular thing in here uh, we can find smart whatever uh, that's that's what we were we think we're looking for in the uh, in these options um, one thing I've done that, uh, with these options uh, most of them are in black but where the options are sort of editor critical things that I want to set as an editor particularly I use red and blue to say that blue is the things that I've not selected and red is the things I have selected. Obviously I'm not saying you should do things the, w the way I do but I mean this is just what I've done for my own use and uh, that's there in the uh, in the document, in the appendix, in these appendices. So uh, that's uh, smart quotes, that's not the uh, the one that we were particularly looking at which was the, um, what have we got, um, that's, that's as you um, replace as you type the smart quotes and it was the um, it was the smart selection that was the problem uh, where it was you know it was, it was um, jumping and selecting whole words when I was trying to you know select select part of a word um, that option at the moment is obviously still on because I was trying to demonstrate how it annoyed me so I want to take that one off that this one here is it, it's in uh, when, when you find it electronically you can look and say ah that's in advanced it's in editing options and that's at the beginning and within each of these sections um, after each one I've put the actual I've, I've um, put that uh, a screenshot of the actual window so you can see those in context so uh, here we go this is the when selecting automatically select entire word so that's the one we want file options uh, advanced and it's the first section editing options and here we are when selecting automatically select entire word let's turn that off and then I'll be happy so take that one off um, okay so what I, what I've done then done um, is to where I think it's uh, um, important for an editor not to have it set I've put in a, just an extra bit of uh, an extra comment there to say uh, you know you would be well advised I think to switch those off um, right so that's all that is for that um, uh, but before I finish I've got a couple of things that you might be able to help me with um, so what have we got um, the show tabs and commands uh, the icon up here uh, is the one that you use to show the um, the ribbon tabs so click on there to pull them down you can get rid of them by clicking this arrow here um, but then how do you get them back well the only way I found is on here which uh, oh it's you know it's I know I'm a obsessive speed freak I want a faster way of doing that uh, but I can't find one. <clears throat> if anybody knows how to get these ribbons back without clicking on this then let me know please. Um, and finally something which uh, has gone wrong um, is the insert a symbol. Uh, if you click, if you click in this way, if you click, um, where are we, insert, uh, where is it, insert, on the end there is insert a symbol and if you click more symbols then you get this window here. Now what I didn't know for many years is that that window is not fixed in size. You can actually make it bigger so if you're looking for some particular symbol it, rather than scrolling through you can make it really big. What's more if you double click on the uh, top bar of that window it expands to fill the whole screen just like this. Double click. Oh where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It has disappeared and I have no idea why it disappears I have no idea where it goes to and the only way I've managed to get it back is literally to close Word down 
and reopen Word. Um, so I and this has been going. This I found that a month or two ago. Yes, a couple of months ago. Um, and yes, if anybody knows where it's gone, how to get it back, then please let me know. But in general, as I always say, if you have any queries or comments, please email me. And I hope you found this useful. Bye for now.